Hey, I'm Stefan Graber from the Ubuntu Council. In this screencast, I'd like to show you a new feature that we introduced in uh, Ubuntu 10.04 that will be publicly released in two weeks. That feature is called Live LTSP. So for those of you who don't know what LTSP is, uh, LTSP is an easy way for you to set up 10 clients. So you can start a server, then a bunch of diskless stations that simply boot off the network and share the same desktop as the server. What we made in Ubuntu 10.04 is we included that feature right in the live environment. So when you boot the Ubuntu DVD, you can choose to start the LTSP and, uh, server directly from the live environment without ever installing anything on your hard drive. Um, in that demonstration, I'll be using two VMs, one for the server, one for the client, using libvirt. First VM has two network cards and boots from the uh, a daily image of the Ubuntu DVD. So I just show the session and start it in English. So it will take a few moments to boot. Um, especially long because I'm actually recording that video at the same time as I'm starting a few VMs. So the only requirement for the server is to have two network cards, one connected to the internet, the other connected to um, a closed network that's, that doesn't have anything on that network besides 10 clients. So when the uh, Ubuntu DVD image uh, is started, you can go in the menu and start LTSP Live. It's then prompting uh, for the network card you want to start uh, live LTSP on. Usually the default works. Oh, and if it doesn't, it's showing that error message saying that um, that network card is already configured to access the internet, so it's likely not the right one. Then just click no and choose another one. If it's not prompting again, it's because it's the right one and it's going to be set up correctly. At this stage, it's basically installing all the required packages in the live environment uh, that's in the RAM memory of the server. So it's not installing anything on the hard drive. It's just unpacking and starting the required services on that network interface. Once done, um, any virtual machine or tin physical tin clients connected to that network will be able to boot and have the exact same interface as the server. Okay, so the LTSP server is now started and supposed to work properly. Let's start the LTSP VM here and see what's happened. What's happening? Okay, so it's now getting the kernel and init RD image from the server. That's basically what it needs to boot. After a few seconds, the login manager for LTSP will be starting, and uh, the easiest way to log in from that live environment is simply to use a guest account. So we can click on login as guest here, 
and wait a few more seconds for the Ubuntu desktop to load. And here we go. We now have an Ed Ubuntu 10 client started from an Ed Ubuntu DVD image without anything on any written on any hard drive anywhere. So we can go in the menu, choose some software like Dux Paint maybe, and start it on a tin client. Now, if you want to keep your LTSP server installed after installing a Ubuntu on the hard drive, you will have that option at the end of the installation. You may also choose to install the Ubuntu Netbook Edition interface um, on top of your Ubuntu setup. If you want to know more about Ubuntu and see what other features you'll have in 1004, you may want to go on www.edubuntu.org. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll enjoy Edgewon 2104.